Hello everyone. So this is just a quick run through guide guide to help you with the assignment for this week, which is a photo voice uh, on heteronormativity and cisnormativity. So this assignment is worth ten points and requires you a, a take a, requires you to take a photo and to in addition to the photo write a two to three page double space paper with a separate works cited page. Now this picture, whatever this is, must be a photo that you took or had taken in the past. Um, admittedly, it can also be like uh, a photo that your friend had taken or family. You also do not need to be in this photo physically. But whatever photo that you do use, you must be able to digitally upload it onto Blackboard. That is very important. And also very important, why I'm emphasizing that it has to be a photo that either you have taken or a family or friend member have taken, both like recently or in the past, is that I don't want any screenshots or Google images. Like, you know, if you Googled heteronormativity, I'm sure there's plenty of Google images or whatever. I, that, that, that's not what I'm asking for. I'm asking for you to creatively look for a photo that represents heteronormativity and or cisnormativity. In addition to that, uh, in addition to your photo, you will be submitting again the two to three page write-up and in that write-up you need to incorporate at least one of the class readings for this week into it. And it is due this Sunday, May 27th by 11.59 p.m. Now for the photo, I do want you to think about what head normativity and or cis normativity and what it means to you. And again, you're going to take uh, or upload an older photo that represents either head normativity and or cis normativity to you. It can reflect both head normativity or cis normativity. Um, it can also reflect either head normativity and cis normativity. But whatever you do, try to make it as much as possible personal to your life, your community, your friends, your family. For example, I am posting this photo, which is a photo of a McDonald's uh, just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. And the reason why I'm posting this photo is, is that I think it, for me, represents um, cis-normativity as well as heteronormativity. So I took this photo about th two years ago. I was driving through Kentucky because I'm crazy. No, uh, I was just driving through Kentucky. and. Um, with a, a good friend who is a trans woman and there are, not surprising, uh, areas in Kentucky where we were very afraid to pull over. Um, my friend um, is a woman who oftentimes gets clocked for being transgender um, and so we were very afraid to go even to a McDonald's to quickly use their bathroom. And in fact, we basically held uh, going to the bathroom together because it was just the two of us in this car f for most of our drive through Kentucky because we really weren't even sure. And for me, as a cisgender woman, um, I saw, it, it really sort of reflected on me and, and showed me the, the sobering reality that my friend has to go through all the time. Um, that, you know, it, for me, with all the privileges that I have based on my gender, based on my race, based on my education, socioeconomic positioning, and so forth, my citizenship, you know, I would often on a road trip, you know, run and find a McDonald's or whatever, you know, equivalent, and just rudely, I know, use their bathroom and then uh, leave. And not have to worry too much, you know. Admittedly, um, when I would drive as a, a single woman alone in a car, I'd be afraid sometimes to get out, especially late at night, to use like a gas station to go to the bathroom or get something to drink or something. But for the most part, I had, I have, and continue to live my life in incredible amounts of privilege, a privilege that I can exercise a basic human dignity. The right to pee, <laughs> um, and the right to be able to pee and with dignity, that my friend could not, and in the very 
very slightest fraction of a way I got to walk alongside her uh, in the sense of experiencing just a taste of what she experiences um, on a daily basis. So um, I chose this photo. I actually took this photo to represent that because we were both waiting at um, a turn signal and we saw that McDonald's and we both really had to pee and we were just like, and I remember us scoping the area being like, well, there seems to be like a lot of people there. So I don't think it will be targeted too much. We could just run in and run out. And so I took a photo of that because it, it was at that moment that really sort of struck me and reminded me of my incredible amounts of privilege as well as how cisnormativity as well as heterosexism works to remove people of their basic human dignities. Now that now this is just one example. I could probably point to many other sort of ways that heteronormativity and cisnormativity can be reflected in a photo. And in real and what I really want from this project is for you to be creative, you know? And as long as you explain it to me what this photo is, how it represents heteronormativity, cisnormativity, either or, um, then you will be perfectly doing well in this assignment. Essentially, this is about you reflecting on heteronormativity and cisnormativity through photos. In order to guide me in your photo, so just giving me a photo and saying like, hey, I represent heteronormativity, cisnormativity, like that McDonald's one. If I had just given you that photo and been like, cisnormativity, you'd be like, what? That's where the two to three page write up is really important because now you're going to walk me through that photo. Okay, so in that, I want you to answer these questions. One, describing your photo, you know, obviously tell me what's going on. Um, what is happening in your photo? Because again, that example that I showed you of the McDonald's, you know, there's a story to it and there is something happening there about our fear of entering that McDonald's, engaging if it would be safe enough and so forth. But if I just shown you that photo, you'd just been like, why did you take a photo of a McDonald's, right? So describing me what is happening in this photo. Um, and then articulating how does this represent or demonstrate head normativity and or cis normativity. And then going further, as I explained before about the McDonald's photo, how does the picture, how does the picture represent or tell us about your life? Maybe the privileges that you experiences or your experience or the disadvantages you might experience. And talk about how you might have might have experienced heterosexist or cissex or cissexist, oof, that's a tongue twister, privilege. And how does this picture represent those or yourself um, marginalized by heteronormativity and or cisnormativity? So I need you to answer all these questions in your two to three page write-up. It's still in an essay format, so please don't do a one question, blah, 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 blah. You know, and you write down it, then two, what is happening in your picture, blah, 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 blah. I do want you to write it in an essay format, but please make sure that you address each point in your paper. And then lastly for this assignment, and just to keep in mind, is that I am requiring that you incorporate in your discussion over the photo and your reflection on heteronormativity and cisnormativity at least one of the of the readings for this week, which admittedly will be very easy since it's very much talking about cisgender privilege and heterosexual privilege and so forth. So it won't be too much of a stretch. But I do want you to have at least one of the readings. You can have, you know, all the readings if you want to, and even the supplemental readings that I have up. But I need to require one, at least. And again, the length for the paper is about two to three pages. Um, and you must have a separate Works Cited page. And with Works Cited, um, I don't care if it's in an APA format or MLA format. As long as it's consistent, that's fine with me. And that is about it. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about the assignment, again, please email me. Happy to talk to you about it. But hopefully this will be a fun and creative project. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your photos.